What's up guys, we got a September 2022 edition of Motown Mail with five year, five month old, that's a double nickel, old Maddie Mo. What do you think? Hey, where's daddy's hair going? Look at that forehead of mine. It's getting pretty big, huh? I got that LeBron James uh, hairline going on, huh? Okay, that's just you just want to show the cards off and stop talking about dad's hair loss? Tired. You really tired? Tell them how tired you are. Come on, they can't even see the, how tired. Look at the bags under your eyes. Oh, man. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> so tired. All right. TTM successes for the month of what? 2020. September 2022. You want to show off the video game first? This. So I'm not into video games. Um, my, my most recent console is a PlayStation 1. Uh, but as a kid, I did play Super Nintendo. Um, favorite player of all time, Ryan Sandberg. Of course, the bases lo super bases loaded. I decided to send this off to get signed. I had this idea years ago to get this signed, and then I didn't do it. And then all of a sudden, I saw people getting it signed. I'm like, that was my idea, and I never did it. So I sent that to his, uh, his address with a, uh, with a donation. He signed it perfectly. It's actually one of his more nicer looking signatures, sadly. Uh, this one's pretty cool, because he stopped signing for a couple years. Uh, I saw someone have a success. Uh, I had him inscribe it. I'm actually kind of surprised he inscribed it. It's Dick Bavetta, the Hall of NBA uh, Hall of Fame referee. I don't know if you can see it. It says, it says uh, to Phil the real goat, <laughs> Dick Bavetta, with, with Michael Jordan. Is this Jordan. Philip? Yeah, it says my name right there. Philip? Yes. And it says the real goat, greatest of all time. So he's not saying Michael Jordan's the goat, he's saying I'm the goat. I'm actually surprised he did that inscription for me, so I'm pretty happy with that. You want to show it off? So Bob Euchre all of a sudden, hang on, just do the one. Just one, because it's one person at a time. Bob Euchre all of a sudden started signing his mail. Um, he stopped for, I feel like, five or six years, and all of a sudden people were getting a couple of returns back, so I found out, I found my only uh, Bob Euchre card. It's a 1963 Tops. It's a little rough shape. It's, you know, it's got rounded corners, and it's, it's a well-loved card, but... I didn't want to wait too long and um, get a, buy a nicer. One. What are you doing? Buy a nicer one, and then the window of him signing closed. So, well, especially with the season ending. Um, so, Philip, I got it back. Pretty happy with that. Next, Warren Moon. I did not ask for this inscription. It's kind of cool. He added it on his own with cash donation. Uh, I put a Rose Bowl MVP card or Rose Bowl MVP inscription. Uh, that's a card when he was uh, a Washington Husky. So that turned out pretty cool. I wish it was in blue, but I'm not going to complain too much. Actually, the black and white looks pretty cool still. Uh, which one do you want to show off next? This one. That one? What's he doing right there? What is that? Big, big bubble. Big bubble gum, huh? World champion bubble gummer, huh? Also played baseball. Kirk Bavakwa. That's a fun name to say, huh? And he, quack, 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 quack. And that was, he does charge to sign this one. I thought it was kind of a cool card. The... I need to show you something too. Okay. Uh oh, it's a Barbie video. What's her Hello, name? What's her name? Barbie. Barbie. They're all Barbie, huh? They should change the name once in a while. Uh, next with Ooh, I to... the donation, next Orlando is... Cepeda. A nice 2001 Topps Archives Reserve. Show the shine. Ooh, look at that shine. So nice. Next, a little disappointed with this one. He's been signing with a donation lately, but yeah. the card itself got a little creased the in the mail. Um, Mark Super Duper. Mark Duper on his 84 Tops uh, rookie card. That's Signs it Super Duper, huh? That's the same. It's the same. So, what happened here with cash donation was Jerry Kuzman, uh, I sent him a nice 1970 Tops card. I'm going to do one. Okay. I sent him a 1970 Tops card, and he usually responds in like a week or two. This has gone for like two months, so I gave up on it. I figured it just got lost. So I literally bought another one, got it signed within a week, and then I think three day, three or four, three or four days later, the one that I had sent months prior showed up with a postmark from like two months ago. So it was definitely Did lost. You see me? It was definitely lost in the mail, but now I got two of them, so it's all good. Uh, Rick Monday, these are pretty cool cards here. Rick Monday had three of threes on. He's the uh, outfielder that saved the American flag from burning back in the 70s at Wrigley Field. Now he's a Dodgers broadcaster. Really nice looking autograph. I've always liked 
it shows up pretty good on this one. I really liked how his autograph looks on those. So, what we got next? We got Leon Lett. I sent him four cards. He kept all four of them. They're pretty nice cards too, like Pinnacle Trophy Collection and whatnot. He ended up sending this 97 Fleer. He doesn't usually do that, so I don't know if they just got mixed up somewhere and someone got my four cards and I got their one 97 Fleer, but we got one of four from Leon Lett. I may try him again on four nicer cards. Uh, next, Teal Flurry on 4 of 4. On 4 of 4? 4 of 4. Maybe. Maybe. Your hair's tickling my, my nose. 4 of 4 from Teal Flurry. Now it's in my mouth. All right, put it over here. And then we got Matt Williams on 4 of 4. Really good player back in the 90s. Keep getting your hair in my... No. Uh, Barry Foster, I think he's like a principal or he's a teacher. He's done doing something at a high school and never really used to sign through the mail and all of a sudden he started signing through that high school. So I sent him three cards and got him all three back signed. Nice uh, former um, Steelers running back. I can't see what I'm doing right now. Nice. That one was in the top loader. Nice old stadium club member's choice there. Next, Duncan Robinson, very rare NBA, current NBA player that signs his mail, sent to his home, signed 2 of 2. Jeez, you're all over the place, aren't you? 2 of 2 of Duncan Robinson. Those are cool, huh? Todd Zeal, he's been signing more frequently lately. I, I got two. That's fine. 4 of 4 from Todd Zeal. Nice job. Fan was out nice. We got two more. Uh, next, Eddie Cheever signed three cards. One of them was really smeared. So I ended up chucking that one. Um, and then one was a duel with Andretti, I think. Um, and I already sent that one, I think, to Andretti. Was it Andretti or Foyd? I think it was Andretti. Um, so I only have one to show you. Could you could do that. You could do that. So, Eddie, 98. I think 98 is the year he won the Indy 500. You want to show that one? You could do Next that with um, Travis Pastrana. He does a whole bunch of, like, motocross and stuff. Yeah. Um, to a, you want to show it? Two a two from Travis Pastrana. And look at this weird card. Very nice. He is Can I do the girl next? Here. Here, I'm going to show uh, Elena Deladon playing for the Mystics, one of the best WNBA players. Nice. You show it off. You got to make sure there's no glare showing. Next, another WNBA player, but man, what a what an autograph on this thing. Dewana Boner on two a two. two, a two. Rough autograph there though. That is just a glob of ink. So that's pathetic. Hello, my name is Kobe. Um, next got Hale Irwin on two of two. He does personalize, but I took the personalizations off. Two of two from Hale Irwin. I actually have one of his um his tournament played golf gloves that he sent me probably 15 years ago. Uh, next I got Mark Grudzelonic on Ooh, four of four. More so four four. He's been signing his mail pretty frequently the last couple months. Got Gene Washington. Be aware of him because there's two Gene Washingtons that played at the same time. Oh, this Bobby. is the uh, wide receiver play for the 49ers. Four four. He usually does sign in pen. Just as a note. Hopefully you can see that. I can't see what I'm recording. Hi, my name is Bobby. Woo there's Barbie again. Hi, my name is Bobby. Three of three. Jerry Kenny. Former uh, former Yankee. Three from Jerry Kenny. I got Ted Savage. And I, I, ha I had the note somewhere. He wrote, I can't read your handwriting on my letter. And I've been told numerous times that I have really nice handwriting. <laughs> so the fact he told me he can't read it, um, I got to say, it, it dented my ego a little, <laughs> a little bit. I'm always told I have nice, cool handwriting, and Ted Savage thinks otherwise. Uh, you're about to fall off there, Tiger. I got three of three from Laren Legro, one of the coolest mm. names, I think. Include and this is the last one, two of two there, and then I got another one, and then the Bobby. 1971, Hi, my name is Bobby. My 1971 name is Tops Bobby. rookie card that was already signed by Gene Lamont, and nicely they signed him like in the exact same pen as Lamont, so that looks really nice. So that's it. That's all I got for now. I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, please. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Do what? Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe.